just because I have a car charger. Can you get out of the car, please. No, I don't feel safe. You're armed. Get up, get up! Get out of the car. Get up, relax. Welcome back. Really glad you could join me today. I'm Enigma and I'm a qualified body language analyst. And in this video, we're going to be looking at this short clip of a woman being dragged out of her car after refusing to comply with police officers, which took place in Australia. Natalie Bonnet, aged 29, uploaded this video after she was released from custody by the police. She was at a police checkpoint in northern Melbourne. And when she was pulled over, she refused to comply with the police's requests and then resisted arrest. Now this confrontation does get a bit heated, so please be warned. Let's take a look. Are you going to state your name address to me? Can you please get your hands off? No. Um, Can you step out of the car, please? No. Excuse me! Or because I have a, a car charger on my car. They sell them everywhere. I didn't, they sell them at petrol stations. That's not the problem anymore. The problem is you're not stating your name to me. This lady's body language screams anxiety and nervousness. She is constantly fidgeting with her hands, which are classified as what's called pacifying behaviors. Basically, this is the way our body tries to calm us down when we're stressed. These behaviors are regulated by the limbic system, which is the part of the brain that regulates and controls our response to stress. Now, I would be the first person to criticize abusive police officers, but in this case, she is totally in the wrong. She's clearly afraid, and instead of cooperating with the officers, she chooses to be very defensive. She is legally required to provide her name and documents when asked, but makes a big deal about how their reasons for stopping her is stupid. She clearly has a large sense of entitlement here. Just because I have a car charger. Can you get out of the car, please? No, I don't feel safe. You're armed. The officer has told her that she's not being asked to get out of the car because of her charger. He makes it quite clear that it's because she's refusing to provide her name and documents when requested. Despite being under a lot of stress and fear, she still lets the entitlement take over her. Now for my British viewers, all officers in Australia are armed. So this argument about her not feeling safe is nonsensical. She just doesn't want to comply because she's entitled. You're safe, don't you worry about that. No, I that. don't feel safe. You're attempting to get into my vehicle. What are you, do what are you okay. doing? Okay. Why? Okay. Excuse me, you're not practicing. Matt. What the fuck are you doing? Matt. What the fuck are hey. you doing? Notice how she's constantly looking at the camera here. She is very aware that she's on camera, and I think most of her reaction here is exaggerated to make the police look bad. We've seen in many past videos how Karens will pretend to be injured or pretend that they're being attacked just to look like a victim. The subtle but obvious looks back to the camera give away that she's making sure it's recording what's happening so she can look like the victim. If she were genuinely concerned for her safety, she would be constantly trying to make eye contact with her husband or boyfriend who's sitting next to her. When we're afraid, we try and make eye contact with our allies to give us protection and build rapport with them. She doesn't do this at all. She's more concerned about her camera recording it. Hey, get off me! Get, get off me! She's got anxiety! Relax! Relax, she's sick! What the fuck are you doing? She's actually sick! Get Relax! Fuck. Hey! Fuck. Relax! Fuck! fuck. Relax! This is hilarious. She's allegedly got anxiety and is supposedly having a panic attack, yet she still makes constant eye contact with the camera and even adjusts it to get a better shot of herself getting arrested. I counted and in the space of 20 seconds, she looked at the camera nine separate times while supposedly being attacked by the police. I'm now very certain that this reaction is entirely for the camera. She wants to look like a victim and the one being assaulted when she was the one who actually assaulted an officer just off camera. Conveniently, she didn't upload the rest of this footage and that's for good reason. It would show her behaving like an absolute lunatic. Another really strange thing is that her husband or boyfriend makes no intervention until she's being dragged out of the car. I find this really strange, but anyway, 
Natalie was arrested by the police and taken into custody. Shortly after, she was then released and was charged on summons with driving with obscured vision, failing to produce a license when requested by an officer, failing to state her name and address, resisting arrest, assaulting police, and offensive language and abuse towards officers. We didn't get to see the entire situation play out, but from what I've read, this lady seemingly tried to attack one of the officers who was arresting her. She also verbally abused them. This is what a Karen looks like super entitled and tries to play the victim despite clearly being in the wrong. She could have avoided this entire situation and she knows this, but despite this and despite clearly being afraid, she decides to act entitled and play the victim. So thank you so much for watching this video. If you did enjoy it, please be sure to hit the like button and subscribe for more content and I'll see you very, very soon. Goodbye. No, I don't feel safe.